okay in this video we will start uh, creating a full text index uh, for the titles table in the pubs database so i already expanded the tables uh, node here to create full text index right click here choose full text index and if you see here uh, these options are disabled at this moment because we don't have a full text index on this particular column All right this is how we have to create a full text index before that let's explore the titles table if you see here uh, the notes column which has some lengthy text and this kind of lengthy text are a good candidate for creating a full text index once a full text index is created then we can apply a lot of useful queries on this particular column So we get uh, two advantages uh, one is uh, a rich query support on this particular column then since the column is indexed uh, we see a uh, performance uh, while we are querying uh, particular information using this uh, uh, notes column right so to create full text index right click here choose full text index then click on the define full text index column here i'm uh, using uh, sql 2012 uh, but you can use this procedure in 2008 as well as in uh, 2005 so once i click that we will get a welcome screen so click next the full text index operates on either primary key or a unique key column so the title table at present has only one uh, uh, key so i'm choosing this uh, um, upkcl key So this is the key I am uh, choosing it uh, this one is foreign key so it's not uh, listed I'm clicking next here next it asks to select a column in which uh, uh, full text index is applied So notes is the column, so I'm just uh, picking it, then I'm clicking next. So uh, I'm going with the default option. Uh, I'm choosing uh, perform track changing automatically. That means when we make any change on the text column, uh, I mean the notes column, then uh, uh, the change will be tracked automatically so that uh, um, the index is up to date right here I am choosing automatically and I am clicking next so here are the full population population states for uh, uh, um, extracting the detail from the notes column and uh, uh, placing it in a separate storage for the index so full population means uh, it uh, picks all the column I mean uh, all the rows of that column then it applies the uh, index that means if there are uh, 1 million row all 1 million will be picked for indexing here in our case since it's just for example there will be less than 50 number of rows in this uh, titles table so I'm clicking next here I'm going with the default uh, automatically option so next uh, it asks for uh, uh, 
catalog creation. Um, so I'm choosing the existing one. Uh, since I already experimented this, uh, I'm seeing uh, titles, notes. In your case, if you don't see this, then you should go for um, create new catalog and then give uh, title notes here. And you can choose um, the default option, which is sensitive. So this is ascent sensitivity. So uh, it tells uh, um, sometimes the weight may be different, but um, the pronunciation will be same. So such kind of sensitivity we can select here, whether it is uh, insensitive or sensitive. So the default option is sensitive when I created the titles notes. So I'm going with the same option. If you want to create new one, uh, you can go with the new one and you can see the default is a sensitive. Since I, <coughs> I already created this and deleted it so that it is uh, displaying here. Um, now I'm uh, recreating the index and I'm making use of the catalog which is uh, already exist. So I'm clicking next here. So we can go with the default option here in the defined population schedule. Click next. That's how you will see uh, the option selected here. Uh, it's actually a summary page which lists uh, uh, the option selected by us through the wizard. So it shows uh, this is the key I selected, uh, databases, pubs, and table is title. So you can see the other option selected here. That's so why I'm clicking finish. It may take a while depending on the system speed. Okay, here uh, in my case, uh, it created the index. Um, if the number of rows is big, uh, it will take a time. So if we're trying this example in our office or um, in our production schema and where um, number of records is more, uh, then uh, I'll want that uh, it will take a lot of time. Um, because um, usually uh, we pick a column with uh, big text. So just check how the system is performing based on uh, some less number of rows, less than 100. Then take it to your production or some other database. Or because it's a index creation is a uh, costly operation, it takes time, right? So I'm clicking close. Uh, at this stage, uh, an index is created in this um, particular column. So if I click here, uh, I can see the other option get enabled. That means uh, the index is active on this notes column. Um, yeah, that's all. So go through the article to know what are all the query that we can perform on this uh, index. Now full text uh, index is applied on notes column. Thank you.